Okay, welcome back everybody. We got a pause menu we're creating today, so let's hop right into it. We're gonna go down to the UI section and start off with the canvas. Good practice to you know name it what you're calling it. So we got a pause canvas, and inside this canvas we're gonna add another UI panel. So pause panel here and back in the canvas we're going to switch our render mode to screen space camera go ahead and drag that main camera in so now we can see that it's visually working and then the panel we're going to start adding images and buttons so drag that image up to the top and i have a couple of kind of default looking <laughs> menu buttons here so we're gonna start by dragging in our pause menu image into the source image here and it's white by default so we're gonna kind of change the color up here there we go you can see that nice and good and we're gonna adjust the width and height well really just the width of this make it nice and big Now we're going to add some buttons. Let me go ahead and rename this image. Pause image. Okay. Buttons UI. Button. By default, we have this Tex Mex Pro, which is good, but since we already have our stuff here, we don't really need it. So back in the source image, we're gonna drag in our resume button. I'm gonna call this resume. Cool. And we can go ahead and delete that text mesh. Okay, once again, we gotta change the color. Perfect. Make this slightly smaller than the pause menu. Cool, cool. A little bigger. Okay, and drag that into position, and we'll do the same thing with our quit button or our main menu button. But cool, so that's done. Um, one thing I want to do is it's kind of bright, so we can kind of adjust the opacity of the. Uh, background pause so it's kind of darker so it kind of illuminates our buttons here that looks a little better now let's create our pause menu script and that's what I'll call it here you know obviously you can call it what you want so let's get it open it's pretty simple at least I tried to make it simple for I'm here to kind of follow along here so we're using the scene management so be sure to add that into your code if you haven't already so we're starting off with our game being pause is false so make sure you add that in and then in our update we're just checking if it's paused and then we have our pause function and then we can resume the most important thing here is after you set the pause button true we're going to set our time scale to zero and then set it obviously back to one when we resume. That actually makes it so we can freeze our game. Then we got our load menu and then our quit button. And that's, you know, taking us back to the main menu for the load menu and then quit game is supposed to, you know, exit out the game. But since we can't really do that in the Unity subspace uh, we gotta kind of just put a debug.log just to know that it's working so save that bring it on back to unity and drag in our pause menu script but be sure to put it in the canvas section and not the panel section that's pretty important or else it won't work grab that pause panel and drag it into the pause menu script here so now let's give our buttons some functions. So starting with the resume button, we can 
kind of change some customization here we can change the color of when it's highlighted we can change the color when it's pressed hover it over you know you can kind of play around with that and now on the on click we will drag in our pause canvas down there and that'll enable us to choose a function out of our pause menu script that we just wrote and obviously we're going to choose the resume and that should take care of that and then we'll do the same thing with the quit button here so we'll go back you know change this change that again we'll drag in our pause canvas into our button an easier way to do this would have just been to kind of lock that section in the inspector you can probably struggle with it a lot less than I did here but uh teacher zone you know we get it So back in the pause menu script, this time we'll hit the quick game function that we created. And that should take care of that. Okay. So the last thing we want to do is uncheck the pause panel. Because when the game starts, we do not want the pause panel to be showing or active. So let's hit this play button and see what happens. So I'll hit that escape key and boom, we pause. It's looking good. We can't move once we pause. That's our time being set to zero. Our buttons are highlighting. We'll hit that resume button, see if that works. And it does, perfect. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Nothing really too complicated couple lines of code making our own little functions using our on click method one more thing I want to show you guys uh, when we go back one more time that when we hit our main menu button that remember it doesn't quit but it should have a debug logged at the bottom here that it would have quit yep and it worked cool so like and sub if you haven't already thanks for watching peace